The early 1900s in the United States was a period marked by the rise of organized crime, with notorious leaders who became infamous for their illicit activities. These crime bosses capitalized on prohibition and economic turmoil to build their empires. This video examines 10 of the most infamous organized crime leaders of the era and their fates. 1. Al Capone Al Capone, also known as Scarface, dominated Chicago's underworld during the Prohibition era with his bootlegging, gambling, and prostitution rackets. His involvement in the 1929 St. Valentine's Day Massacre, where seven rival gang members were killed, made him infamous. Capone was eventually imprisoned for tax evasion in 1931 and died in 1947. 2. Lucky Luciano Charles Lucky Luciano is credited with creating the modern American mafia and organizing the five families in New York City. His strategic leadership helped establish a national crime syndicate in the 1930s. Luciano was convicted on pandering charges in 1936, and after aiding the U.S. during World War II, was deported to Italy in 1946. 3. Bugs Moran George Bugs Moran was Al Capone's chief rival in Chicago, leading the Northside Gang during the height of Prohibition. Best known for narrowly escaping the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, a brutal attack planned by Capone, his influence waned significantly afterward. He eventually died impoverished and forgotten in prison in 1957 while serving a 10-year sentence for a bank robbery. 4. Meyer Lansky Meyer Lansky was known as the mob's accountant and excelled in illegal gambling, among other ventures, across the United States and Cuba. He was instrumental in the development of the National Crime Syndicate with Luciano. Despite numerous investigations, Lansky was never convicted of any serious crimes and died of natural causes in 1983. 5. Arnold Rothstein Arnold Rothstein, known as the brain of the underworld, was the alleged mastermind behind the 1919 World Series scandal, manipulating the event through bribery. His operations in gambling and racketeering set precedents for American organized crime, Rothstein was mysteriously murdered in 1928, and his killer was never identified. 6. Dutch Schultz Dutch Schultz, born Arthur Flegenheimer, ran a profitable bootlegging business in New York during Prohibition. Known for his violent temper and ruthless tactics, Schultz was feared throughout the criminal underworld. He was assassinated in 1935 by other mobsters who believed his erratic behavior threatened their operations. 7. Enoch Nucky Johnson Enoch L. Johnson, known as Nucky, controlled Atlantic City and its lucrative vice industries during Prohibition. Unlike fictional portrayals, the real Nucky was a political figure as much as a gangster. He was convicted of tax evasion in 1941, served four years in prison, and then lived quietly until his death in 1968. 8. Stephanie St. Clair Stephanie St. Clair, also known as Queenie, was a key figure in Harlem's numbers rackets during the Harlem Renaissance. She fiercely defended her territory against both rival gangsters and corrupt police officials. St. Clair managed to avoid major criminal convictions and retired a wealthy woman, leaving a legacy of strength and defiance in her wake. 9. Frank Costello Frank Costello, known as the Prime Minister of the Underworld, led the Luciano crime family after Luciano's deportation. He was a major force in illegal gambling and had considerable political influence. Costello survived an assassination attempt in 1957, retired peacefully, and died of natural causes in 1973. 10. Joe Masseria Joe Masseria was a dominant New York mob boss in the 1920s, overseeing extensive criminal operations. His stubbornness and reluctance to share power led to his downfall, culminating in his assassination during the Castella Marie's War, a power struggle within the Mafia. Masseria's death in 1931 marked a significant shift in mob leadership dynamics. These ten organized crime leaders shaped the criminal landscape of the early 1900s in the United States. While some evaded serious punishment, others faced justice, showing that crime does not always pay. Their legacies continue to influence both the criminal underworld and the popular imagination today. Thanks for watching.